Hey y'all, so welcome back to another What's For Dinner. So this night I'm gonna be making sheet pan chicken fajitas. I have two yellow bell peppers here along with two red. And I also have three packs of taco seasoning. Just trying to keep it quick and simple tonight along with a large onion. So first off, I'm just gonna get started by cutting up my peppers and getting everything prepared along with my onion. And also, if you guys are new, hello and welcome. My name is Tia and I would love to have you join my YouTube family and subscribe. I do bring these what's for dinner videos to my channel weekly and yeah you guys all you got to do is hit on that subscription button down below and don't forget to turn on your bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos so here you guys i am just cutting up my chicken breast i kind of do it into like strips and after this we're gonna get ready and put everything all together season it and pop this baby into the oven And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and drizzle a little olive oil, then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my packs of taco seasoning. So after I put on my packs of taco seasoning, I'm just gonna mix it up really well to get it nice and combined. Then I'm just gonna pop this into a 400 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until your chicken is nice and cooked. And so here it is out the oven. As you can see, it looks absolutely delicious and it was smelling super amazing. And so here is my plate, you guys. I just served it with some rice and some limes and some sour cream and some cheddar cheese. So on this night, I'm gonna be making some tater tot casserole here. So here I just have some ground beef here. I have two pounds. I did end up using three pounds, you guys, just letting y'all know. And then I have um, two cans of cream of mushroom, some W sauce, I have some French style green beans, along with a large onion, and I have some garlic powder, some mild cheddar cheese, and some tater tots. So this is everything I'm gonna be using, so let's hop right into it. And so now that my ground beef is getting browned, I'm gonna get started on cutting up my onion. I'm gonna be using half of this large onion and I do it into chopped size pieces. And so here I'm just gonna go ahead and add that in and I'm gonna also add in some garlic powder to taste and I'm just gonna mix it up and just kind of cook it up until the onions begin to get nice and translucent. And also, if you guys do decide to try out any of these recipes, I would love to have you comment down below and let me know how it turned out for you. I love to hear you guys' feedback. I just love hearing about them. So now I am just gonna go ahead and add in my W sauce. And I call it the W sauce because a friend of mine on YouTube also calls it W sauce because we cannot pronounce this word for anything. So it's just much easier just calling it the W sauce. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and add this in to taste. You can put as much as you'd like. It just depends on your taste and liking. And once your ground beef is done, you wanna go ahead and add that into a bacon dish. And I am also gonna add in my two cans of cream of mushroom. And I'm just gonna kind of layer that out to get a nice even layer. Then after that, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and add on my green beans and you can use as much as you'd like. It kind of just depends on your preference. And then I did season my green beans with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then I am gonna do a layer of cheese. You know your girl loves her some cheese. The more cheese, the better. And then after that, finally but not least, we're gonna add on our tater tots. And you guys, I love me some tater tot casserole. I know they're actually quite um, different kind of ways of making it. Um, go ahead and comment down below if you make yours this way or tell me how you make it so maybe I can try it out next time. Because like I said, there are quite a bit of different ways to making it. So let me know. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this baby into a 400 degree oven for about 35 to 45 minutes or until it's done. And so here it is out the oven, you guys. As you can see, it looks absolutely delicious. And it had my whole house smelling so good. And so here is my plate, you guys. Yes, you guys, as you can see, it looks absolutely delicious. And I just topped mine off with some pepper. 
So on this particular night, I decided to make my chopped smothered in tomatoes and onions. I was craving it and it sounded so amazing. So here I just have some chops. I also have some salt, garlic powder, along with some black pepper. I have some W sauce along with a large onion. And I also have two cans of diced tomatoes. And you're also going to need some vegetable oil for frying. So now I'm just gonna season my chops with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And I'm gonna continue this on both sides. And also, if you guys do love chops, please give this recipe a try. I'm telling you, you will absolutely love it and your family will love it. These chops come out tender every single time. But I do recommend you guys to use the thinner pork chops. Don't use the thick ones because they don't come out the same to me for some reason. But the thin ones come out really, really tender. And I'm telling you, it's packed with flavor. It is seriously so, so delicious. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and fry them. And you just want to fry them on each side for about three to four minutes. Um, you don't want to overcook your chops, so please try not to overcook them. If you want them to be nice and tender, just do not overcook them. You just wanna get them a nice little color to them to where they're still soft when you do remove them from the oil. So this is the color that you want your chops to be. You don't want to get them too browned up because you don't want to overcook them. You want to keep your chops nice and tender and so next i'm just going to get started on cutting up my onion and i do like to cut them up into like round pieces and here in a second you'll see how i'm just breaking them apart this is just how i like to do it but you can cut your onions up to whatever kind of style you like your onions to be cutting up so once all our chops are done we are just going to go ahead and remove them So in the same pan, I just emptied out my oil. I'm just gonna go ahead and add in all my chops. And you guys, this smelled so amazing already. And next, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in my onions. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my two cans of diced tomatoes. And so I did end up using a can and a half. If You can use the whole thing if you'd like. It just depends to your preference. And now I'm just adding in my W sauce. And like I said, I'm just doing it according to my taste and liking. I do like to put quite a bit because it just gives it that nice, delicious flavor. And it also helps your chops get nice and tender as well as they're cooking. And I'm just going to go ahead and add in some pepper, garlic powder, and just a tad bit more salt. So now I'm just gonna pop the lid on this on a medium low and I'm just gonna let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. And to go along with my chops, I was really craving some oven roasted broccoli. So I really like to keep it easy and simple. So I just drizzle a little olive oil onto my broccoli and I just season my um, broccoli with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then once I got it all seasoned up, I just kinda like to mix it really well and then I do like to pop this into a 400 degree oven and I just let it bake for about 15 minutes or until your broccoli is nice and roasted. And these are seriously so, so delicious. If you have not yet tried oven roasted broccoli, I'm telling you, you are absolutely missing out. Give it a try and I promise your whole family will love it. My kids absolutely love these. And so here's the chops, tomatoes, and onions. As you can see, they look absolutely delicious. And it was smelling so, so bomb. And it was seriously super good. And so here is my plate. And it definitely hit the spot. I just served mine with some white rice and with my broccoli. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.